so we are back in the garage this week. Well, we were last week too. Um, we're always in We're here. back in the garage tonight. <laughs> and, um, we're, we're done buying trucks from Kansas and getting them delivered. Yeah, now we just gotta look at them and maybe that'll be motivation to get this done so we can start on another. Um, anyway, so we're back in the garage. As you can see, beside us, behind us, we've got the mousetrap in pieces. Um, we, I say we, but he's been all over um, getting everything going for it. So I had to work and he just had to do it alone. So we're back in the garage together, hoping to get a lot more done. That's right. So what we're going to be doing now is going to go ahead and drop the videos of me going to Kevin Prince's to have the inside the mousetrap sandblasted and then taking the trip to Columbus, Indiana to Linux and have Line X coated in the mousetrap. Oh, I forgot my bolts. We don't want to line excess though? No, nah, not really. School bus yellow. That's going to look real good. of Columbus so my buddy here owns line X and we are getting the mousetrap bed liner that's right we are making progress it's about 11 o'clock at night right now he just got a coat of primer on it we got to put primer down on it first and then since it's all bare metal we had it sandblast so we just left Kevin's had a sandblast I hauled it straight from Kevin's the Columbus and Cody is laying down the primer now and then we gotta wait 10 to 12 hours and then we're gonna be putting the, the layer of line X on it. So I'm gonna show you guys what the inside of this thing looks like. We got the cup holders, the, the console. The console, Paul has the console doing the console, pinstriping it. Um, I got the cup holders and the training tunnel done earlier today. High tail at the Kevins, went from Kevins to Columbus. And then I gotta go from here back home and then come back up here in the morning and help Cody out with this thing. And then um, then I can take it home tomorrow. But it is looking really good. I wasn't expecting the primer to be school bus yellow, but I don't know. Cody knows what he's doing. That's why it's here. And I can't wait to see it with Line X on. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, let me flip the camera around and show you guys kind of what I got done earlier today. Cody's mixing up some more primer, so I figured I'd step in here real quick and show you guys what all we got going on right now. So the cup holders are there. We got to put the inserts in them, of course. Um, everything's pretty much done on the inside. These tabs are to hold the console down. <laughs> what kind of pickles are those? Kind you don't want to eat. <laughs> you got another kind here. I'm beginning to think you work for me, because every time I come here, you got one of my shirts on. They have them. <laughs> Cody just said, I, you still got a 45 minute drive home. I said, yeah, and I got to stop and get ice cream. He said he has ice cream here. That ain't ice cream. I thought you said there was ice cream here. Not here. Oh. <laughs> you got, I thought you, I, I came in here to get ice cream and you're eating pizza. It's like a couple days old, too. Oh. Has it got mold on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, still good then. That's <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so we got the yellow submarine <laughs> primered and then went ahead and put some seam sealer in it just to make it finish it off. Cody's making fun of me saying we're getting too fancy with it now. I got seam sealer down here and up through there. We're restoring it at this point. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's that. I'm going to leave here tonight and then come back at 8 a.m. And uh, I guess we're going to bedliner this thing. All right, it is the next day. So I got home about 1 a.m. And just got here to Line X at 9. So we're going to hop in here, check out the car, and get this baby bedlinered. All right, Cornholio, we got a plan? I think so. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're getting ready to Line X it. No more yellow submarine. So Cody just got it coated and now, now we're untaping it, or he's untaping it. Gotta pull the trim wire off. Yeah, so he put, he got fancy, put trim wire and got real creative last night with it. So it'd make it easier for today. Just easier on every job. <laughs> it looks awesome. Is it already dry? What? You literally just sprayed it. Wow, eight that's seconds. eight seconds for that to dry. Wow. I noticed whenever I was putting the little Linex badge on it, it was, you know, warm. I'm like, golly. I can't believe that's already dry. It looks good. Seam sealed the corners. Man. This thing turned out awesome. I'll go ahead and check out the stink bug. So when he was uh, starting this project, I, I said something about, he's like, man, I don't know what the name is. I said, just name it the stink bug. So I guess that's the name that stuck with this thing. So I'm gonna turn this thing around and check this thing out. So what do we got going on on this thing? A whole lot of everything. A whole lot of everything. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a whole lot of everything. I took a 71 Volkswagen Beetle, chopped it in pieces, used the front half as the back half of my Roadster. 3031 Model A cow, custom frame, Ford 8.8 .8 rear axle. The 12 valve is out of a case bulldozer. Got an automatic out of a first gen. The radius arms are actually from a late 70s F 150. And I've got a Willys front axle. Yeah. Out of an old Willys pickup. I do like the control arm idea. That is pretty slick. Yeah, it's kind of a copied idea, I guess you could say, <laughs> but it worked. And then the grill is from a Allison Chalmers. Nice. Pretty sweet. You got it set up for twin turbos, I see. Yeah, it's gonna have twins. Heck yeah. I still got a lot to do on it. You might beat Dylan to Beatersville. Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> He's gotta get on it. He's too busy eating lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> and then the tail lights, I think, are old uh, spotlights. Those I've, things are sweet. That I kind of put red lenses in. Oh, you put the lenses in them? Yeah. I thought they kind of looked like old swivel um, spotlights. Heck yeah. 
it's not done, but it's getting there. And then the headlights, they're off of an old fire truck. I do like the headlights, those are sweet. I need them on the military truck. Put them on the mouse trap. That would be sweet. Mouse trap? Yeah. I hey, think yeah. I want to use these old school seats. You had a bunch of them at your house, didn't you? In your yeah, barn? I got, I got yeah. Stack. That uh, thing looks cool. I may not have room for that. There's not a whole lot of room. I need to figure out seats for the mouse trap yet, too. Yeah, those are kind of wide. Those seats. Yeah, it, it's it's going to be tight. Heck yeah. Sweet. Well, Cody's found us a school bus, so we're going to go on an adventure and look at this old 40s model Chevy school bus that's had a a junkyard i guess or salvage yard of some yeah. sort so i guess let's load up and head over there okay so a while back actually during the rod run cody messaged me and said hey are you interested in a old school bus it's oddly i love school buses i don't know why but i think they're cool and um i've always wanted to build one but i don't know just it ain't time ain't been right but um Anyways, so Cody calls me and says, hey, I know where a school bus is. It's at like a, a junkyard and are you interested in it? And I said, well, next time I'm in the Columbus area, I'll swing by and look at it. Well, I happen to be in Columbus, so I'm here looking at it. So we are at Cars and Parts and I see the top of the school bus now. It's right, see it right there, there it is. Hopefully we can get this thing saved and it ain't getting smashed. Um, why I need a school bus, I don't. But, you know, if the price is right, we're gonna have to come back and get it because this little truck's not gonna pull that school bus. So let's jump out of the truck and see what this thing's all about. All right, there it is. I mean, if you can get through there. Um, I'm crawling. Old ones back there, if you guys want to go down there and look. Buried back in here. <laughs> Thing is too cool. She's a little rough. A little rot there. The roof separated. Man, oh, this thing's so cool. I'm in love with it already. Man, it's so cool. Super cool. Yeah. She is in there. Uh, got her smashed up against there. This thing's so cool. Look inside of it. It's not as bad as I thought it was, though. It's not terrible, but the roof's separated from it there. Yeah, but that's fixable. Put a great some like half inch lag bolts to it and just make it. Yeah, it's so cool inside. Got the headlight pieces right there. And it comes with a weed eater. Oh nice. Electric one, but it still works. She said there's some old cars here? Yeah. We can go look at them. Holy wasps. Wasps in there? Oh yeah. Thing's so cool. She's definitely yeah, I've been here, but it's been 10 years ago. I didn't realize it was just a scrapyard now. Ugh, let's see if I can fall down. Huh. It's going to take a little bit to get it out of here. It's not terrible. Yeah, she needs patched up pretty decent. Just needs some love. I love the old buses, how they're curved in the back. I like the lights that are on top on the perch. They're setting on them perches. Those are pretty cool. They're, they're a little rough. She's a little rough, yeah. <laughs> Those probably hold air. I'll probably put some air in them. <laughs> they're good to go. <laughs> so it's like a 41 uh, Chevy or something? I think they said 46? 40. I'm on my way back home and back to the shop and it's starting to sprinkle and unfortunately I didn't have time to um, prime the firewall of the mousetrap so I ran into like maybe five sprinkles so I'm gonna pull in here I haven't ate today so I'm gonna pull in here to Chick-fil-a I'm gonna prime 
the firewall. I brought the primer with me. I was gonna prime it at Cody's, but I was hoping to get back in time before it rained. So the plan is I'm gonna pull in here to Chick-fil-A, prime the firewall, grab a bite to eat, and then continue on the way back home. And hopefully that primer can dry before it rains and ruins it. So that is what I got going on. It's People are probably gonna be looking at me funny for priming this thing at the Chick-fil-A parking lot. Well, there ain't much room in this parking lot, so I'm gonna have to go across the road here to the mall and um, prime it over here, it looks like. All right, so just got it primered. Hopefully the rain can hold off for like 30 minutes because I don't know what that's gonna do. If it rains on it, we might have a mess on our hands. All right, now that you guys have watched that, I know some of you was probably like, what is going on? Why is it yellow? Hannah was too. I, oh my I, gosh. I FaceTimed her. She goes, uh, why, why is it yellow? Yeah, I thought maybe he was going with like, you know, it's a mousetrap, so he's just going to make it look like cheese inside. I'm really glad he didn't. It looks way better black. Uh, but yeah, I guess that was just the primer, and he was just being Corey and Cody, and they were going to joke around. Uh, but we have a lot going on. We're back. And so now that the frame is pretty well done, um, we are going to get the frame underneath the car so then we can move it around and not have so much taken up by such a tiny car. So the plan of attack is we're gonna go ahead and lower the mouse trap. It's back here looking like it's at a meat locker hanging from the rafters. So we're gonna go ahead and real quick, let's take a moment to check out the chassis one last time before it goes on. Sweet Patina hooked us up with some rust preventative paint. I sprayed it on right over top of the sandblasted frame that Kevin did. Got our airlines ran in there. Got the bags on there. Again, these are Airlift Dominator 2600 pounds. These are the airbags we use on everything. Here lately, you guys have been messaging me wanting to know what airbags we run in our stuff. That's what we run. Airlift Dominator 2600. We got half inch nylon lines. We got quick connect fittings everywhere. Everything is good. We got shocks on it now. It looks good. It's almost a shame to cover it up, but that's part of it. So. Here is a farewell to the frame because this is the last time we're going to see it unless I'm underneath of it. So let's go ahead, Hannah, and um, roll this thing under there. down but it was rubbing so we had to put its wheels back on so that's where we're at right now Good. All right, so to the next side. 
know. That's the only bad thing about these lowered cars are you literally have that much room with it up on a jack. All right. Bring your drill and hammer. We can take them out now. Uh, we messed up. I forgot we gotta run two washers on top. So we gotta pull it back off. You're lying. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I was just seeing what you'd say. That you're a liar. <laughs> I'm going in for the night. I'll let you do that. You did good, high five. Just give me a five and be nice <laughs> for once, jeez. <laughs> That's a medium five. Ugh. Higher would be up here. All right, so we've got the car moved in the corner now. Um, we're getting ready for, I'm having a yard sale Friday and Saturday. I've been wanting to have one for at least three years and I'm finally having one. So I'm sure our curious neighbors who have always wanted to stop are gonna be here. Here's our chance. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Welcoming so, invitation. Yes. So we're getting ready for the yard sale. So we've kind of pushed this in the corner. Corey will be working on it. Heck, they'll get a free show. Um, but. I'll have people help me. Yeah. Be like a build class. Yeah. Show them the visor. Okay. So here's the visor. And it is going to go something like this. Oh yeah. That looks so cool. Yeah. Especially with the, the twin on it. <laughs> But it is over, probably one o'clock in the morning. Um, I still have to get up and work tomorrow, then get, I haven't even priced anything. I have a ton of stuff. So tomorrow's gonna be another late night, but with the yard sale stuff. All right, well, let's go in and- Do it all again tomorrow. Yep, that's right. All right, so I'm over here in my little corner. It is the next day. And this is the start of Hannah's yard sale. She's, that's why I'm over here in my own little corner now. I have the whole shop, but she took over have to shop for her yard sale. That's all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the visor stuck on this thing and go ahead and build a roll pan for it today. There's so I went ahead and took some 40 grit with a DA and went ahead and uh, got it down to bare metal best I could. And here is our visor. You guys seen that earlier, but shout out to Shane, my buddy. We gave him a template. He made it up and put some dimple dies in it put some put three on there originally we didn't have these three in there and he he suggested hey let's put three dimple dies in the center I'm like yeah whatever i don't care so that is that so let's uh get it stuck up on there all right guys that's going to be the end of this video the rest is a surprise next weekend is petersville and that is only like today is tuesday so we have, only have a few more days until we have to have the mousetrap. So it's a surprise. If you want to see it, make sure it's Petersville. It's a surprise to us. I'm looking at it and... We're not even close to being done. No. But we're, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're giving it our best shot. It's not going to be 100% done, so don't expect that. But Yeah, we're not driving it into the show, that's for sure. Before we go, we did get some gifts, and we want to give appreciation to those who sent us the gifts. All right, we did have some friends come down, Austin and Caitlin. They came down and gave a little hand on the mousetrap. We got it kind of buttoned up, and now it's ready for paint pretty much. And they brought us this cool little little dude. We got our logo burned in on the top of it, so thank you guys. And they also brought these, these little... Um, he said these were pretty cool, I thought maybe. You know, I don't know if you could use them or not, but I thought they were cool. And find out what we did with them at Beatersville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there is that. A while back, um, David sent me this package here, and I already opened it because I already used them, but uh, not this one. He brought us some uh, side cuts and stuff. So metal shears, because a while back when we were cutting something, we we're using a grinder, and I guess he thought we could use a set of nice well, metal shears. It was when we were cutting the cardboard, the big oh, cardboard yeah, yeah, yeah. too. So we got some uh, av aviation snips. So these are right hand. We got left hand ones, and then straight ones. So thank you, David, for the, for those. We really do appreciate it. So there's those. 
Got, you can't use them. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> and then, let's see what else we got. We got another box here. I had a knife somewhere. Use the shears. Oh, we'll use the shears. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. So this is from... It says Gatewood. That's all I know. I don't know. Hold on. Five years later. Stab yourself. Let me see that thing. Oh my. <laughs> well, in the meantime, well, we'll just do this together. Hey. Hey, something still. I bet that's for something. Really? Oh, real quick. It does Ooh. say two quarter wheat customs and then also Hannah wheat customs. So I guess. Uh, I got my own custom. <laughs> Cut this right here, Tony. Let me open these girls up. Here we go. Right, right here. Oh, <laughs> Someone's going to send us a knife. We have a knife, but Hannah insisted we use these. Well, I didn't insist. You just didn't have your knife around. All right, now we're in the box. Yes. Um, my hands are a little dirty, so you take care of that. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. How cute is that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm definitely wearing that. Perfect Not color. Not in the garage. It is too beautiful for the garage. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited. And, um. Oh, and a note. We got a note. So, I will definitely read this. Thank you guys. This is from uh, Brian and Leanne. So I will uh, we'll read that here in a bit. Well, thank you so much. I love that. <laughs> All right, this one we did sneak peek this one just a little bit. Don't I was say scared. we. I did. Well, okay, so. But uh, so this is from uh, Juan uh, from Juan. So he's been one of the OG followers from our first little giveaway. We did a little corny giveaway where we blew out some tickets out of Hannah's exhaust stack around and uh, Christmas one. and this is from Ghost so thank you so much like I said we did kind of open this and then we no, caught it it was not a wee thing well I might have stuck into it you got some as long as shop candy I would say if they're open you're in big trouble because I didn't even know now you all know we love our food and snacks so oh Durain, man Durain candy what is that? Like a fruit? It's from China. I don't know. Let's we'll try that. Yeah, we will. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stuff like that around here. No. Dried mangoes. That sounds like something right in my house. Yeah, it does. Oh, you want to try one of that too? Yeah. <laughs> Got a card. Uh, oh. Heck yeah. We will read your card. Thank you guys so much. There's more in here though. Huh? Let's keep handing you stuff. I know. Where, where are you? <laughs> I don't want know. Let me put this. What oh man. This? I haven't seen this yet. I didn't get that far. Is that olive? Olive, pickles, what is it? Yeah. <gasps> is it a pickle? What is it? Sardines. Oh man, we definitely <laughs> gotta try them. <laughs> is it spicy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to be worth trying on camera. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I'll try it. <laughs> more. Oh, oh there's, there's more. more. Banana chips. Hey, that might be good. That might be pretty good. <laughs> Here. Yeah, I was say, let me. Oh, what's that? Bottle opener and screwdriver. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, we got a little thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's a little nice, so you want I to take mine. I could have used this <laughs> yeah, to you open could. another one. We should open this one first. Dang, yeah, yeah. be careful with that. All right, so there's that. Thank you guys, uh, Carlos and your wife. Thank you guys oh, so much for um, following and the support you guys are giving us. and. We have another one. Put them all in there. Yeah, I want to. I want to get into that one though. All right, we got this one in. This one is from. Did you open this one too? No, you gave it to me like this. They gave it to me. 
<laughs> From Canada, ain't it? I don't know. Yes, that's Canada. Canada. We don't know. We'll find out here in a second who it's from. Here, I'm gonna charge that. Okay. Oh, it's my little guys that I got from Kansas too. Yay! I'm definitely decorating with these. Silverware. <laughs> and it's got a wheat logo on it. No way. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. There you go. Let me give you all out individually. No. All right, let's see. I'll oh, bet that's another light. We yeah. Another light. What were these called again? Insulators. Um, insulators. For power lines. Well, yeah, I was going to say accelerator. What is that? I don't know. Hold on, I got my knife. Oh, they got skinny guys. <laughs> see what we got here. That looks like something to put out a fire. You have a little mouth. You just watch yourself with that knife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a good little knife. I think, oh my god! It's a mouse! I know! I think you put it over a fire. Because it's hollow. <laughs> Is that what it's called, hollow? Ow. <laughs> It's big wheat knives. Oh my or, gosh. It is a knife, yeah. Wow. We got the little wheat logo on them. <laughs> How do Where you find that? I, I know. Don't know. Where does someone find that? Heck yeah, got a burlap sack. Oh, here we go. We got we got info. Hold on. Where? We we have one of these. Heck yeah. What do you mean we got info? We got where it came from. Oh. That's cool. Ooh. So at a rod shop here. Stubbs Rod Shop. So thank you so much for um, these are really cool. These yeah, they utensils are. and that's awesome. Hannah's little insulators. But uh, it really is awesome to you know for the support you guys have given us and it's just mind blowing. Mind blowing. Still. I guess. Yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, but. We do appreciate each and every one of you guys. We hope to see you guys at Beatersville, which is in Louisville, Kentucky, this coming Sunday. Yes. The mousetrap will be there. Like I said, it won't be done, but we just, we want to meet you guys. If you guys are there, look for our booth. We'll have a booth and uh, we'll be set up selling t-shirts. We got some hats and uh, you guys don't even have to buy anything. Just come by, say, hey, let's talk for a little bit and just let's us all have a good time, and I guess we'll catch you guys next Wednesday at 6 with the Beatersville video. Of the reveal of the mousetrap if you don't make it. Um, obviously, there will still be a lot to do. Um, the mousetrap will not be done for Beatersville, but... It will be there. Yes, it's going to be there under construction. We might even work on it there. Who knows? I'm looking at it right now. It, it is looking pretty cool. Can't wait for you guys to see it. <laughs> But um, expect the next Wednesday video. We're gonna be crunch time. We're gonna first off the video is gonna be crunch time and getting the mouse trap done, and then loading up on the trailer. Hopefully our winch don't get stolen this time. I'm locking that baby on there. Yeah. Soon. But um, see you guys there. And have a happy Memorial Day. That's right. Try a sardine. Buckley don't even know. You have a mouse on you, Buckley. Where's those? Grab them. Let's grab something. Okay, whatever I grab, we have to try. Oh, I'll try that. Darn the luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. Hold on, Minnie's being reckless. We're still good. All right. Those are good. I'll try this one. Here, eat this one. Am I gonna like it or am I? Let me try. I could eat that. Next. 
be. I'm excited about that. I think a Duran, Duran is like a small banana maybe? No, that's a plantain. It looks like a small banana. I don't know what a Duran is. We have to try these at the same time. It smell good, they smell really fruity. Mm, I can't get mine open. Oh my gosh, there's another. Okay, you ready? You gotta smell it first. Older, yeah. It's a nice looking van. Pretty solid just because it's aluminum. <laughs> Square body and 68 C10, C50. Fire truck. I need that. That's pretty sweet. No camper. That'll be your next project. If Hannah was with me, it definitely would be.